So folks, I'm back with my teddy bear here and we're back in under the sand and a lot of you guys wanted to see a new vehicle here. So we're gonna be testing out, I think we gotta go with this blue truck. This thing looks pretty awesome. It already looks kind of like it's an off-roader. And there we go, we put our bear on there. So here is uh, the Jeep that we've been using. Uh, we could actually take some of the parts out of this. Come on, there it goes. And yeah, we could actually swap some of these over. So when you attempt to restart the game, it actually gives you all your stuff back. And it, uh, I guess the progress you made on the vehicle, it stops there. So that's why I went ahead and uh, redid this because, I mean, we get to keep a lot of the things that we uh, we had, but I want to do it with the truck. I feel like it'd be a better vehicle. So we're going to quickly put this thing together and go back out into the world and try to find some more things, maybe some new styles of stops here today. I also do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys have been amazing. Also, another cool thing, when you restart your journey, you get to keep your money too. So you can go out in the world, make some money, and then maybe come back here. Uh, to the main like I guess you call it like the main hub and you can go uh, buy some of the upgrades here um, What do we want to take here? That engine isn't the best we could go buy a repair tool real quick and repair this thing up and uh, Get it in tip-top shape and then we'll swap the engine over uh, To the uh, the good vehicle by the way here are some of the engines. Yeah, there is a, a 550m. It's 65 hundred dollars. That's a lot. What is ours? So that's the 550 and then there's the 470, the 421. Uh, I really want to check, see what style engine we have. I don't think that's a thing you find too much in the wilderness. Okay, so we have the 421, so this definitely isn't a very powerful motor. Let's go ahead and stick it in here, though. Uh, we're just going to take all the parts off and just transport them over here. Uh, going to take the wheels, too. I don't think it resets a lot of the loot at the start, so there's not a, a new engine setting uh, over there, so we're just gonna put all this over here. Uh, can I rip the strut bar out? Uh, yes, I can. All right, so we're gonna place that into here. Boom, that is looking pretty toasty. So the engine is ready to go. I like having a much bigger bed. This is gonna be really good for uh, collecting all that extra loot that I was wanting to grab. All right, let's go and swap tires too. Okay, so that's all set up and ready to go. Where is my special crate? Is that, oh, it's right here. Oh, all my stuff is in here. Okay, so let's grab uh, what supplies we can. Uh, let's go and take that battery there. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to sell. Would you like this battery? Oh, 172, that's not too bad. All right, let's go fill up the uh, fluids on this vehicle and we should be already ready to go. Like it took us forever to get out of the starting zone last time. So feels good that we're, uh, we're getting moving here. Okay, close that up. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do here, I'm gonna blast through the first couple zones. Uh, I'm feeling like they're gonna be the same as they, oh my goodness, I forgot the steering wheel. Yeah, we can't go anywhere without that. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna get through the uh, first couple zones pretty quick, only grabbing what I need as far as just supplies for the car. Uh, that way we can get moving through as fast as possible. All right, so we are ready to go once again. I like this truck, this thing looks pretty sweet. All right, well, let's, uh, should we try going that way? No, it's clearly destroyed over that way. All right, well, let's get moving. So just out of curiosity, I'm gonna check and see if, have we been here? So there should be a dog on the shelf. If there's a dog on the shelf, we haven't been here and they did reset the loot. So have we been here? Oh, there's no dog on the shelf, but there's stuff in here. I mean, obviously there is things that we can take. All right, also, I think I missed last time. There are a couple gas canisters here. We can really top off. Okay, we found a little bit of loot here. This is probably stuff I missed, I'm assuming. All right, so throw that into there. I uh, got some more engine oil in here. Might as well toss this back here. It is so nice having a lot more uh, storage. I mean, the Jeep's cool, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing like having a big bed on the back of this. Uh, also, oh, there's stuff back here in the trash too. Okay, I must say, since I restarted the game, my terrain looks a little bit different. Like, it's definitely a little bit more hilly right around this uh, start. Oh, look! We did not run into an oil tanker until our second episode. There were zero of these in our first. So yeah, once you get past, it seems like the hub world, I noticed stuff was looking a little different. Like we were in pretty flat land last time. Uh, question is, what is the loot like in these? Uh, it looks like the loot can be fairly similar. That's one thing I really wish was randomized a bit more. Uh, it's almost as if you know what you're gonna get in a lot of these stops. Uh, but still if we can keep gathering stuff eventually we can upgrade and get like a really big motor and get a super fast uh, Vehicle, maybe we'll do that to the red truck All right, well, let's keep going. I, I still don't think I've located every style of stop 
Uh, I definitely don't think that's a thing. So uh, let's see what else we can run into here. It's getting a little bit dark. Uh, turn on those lights. Oh my goodness, we're having problems hitting the button. All right, just hit, hit the button. There we go. By the way, if you look at my right front, it is wobbling. It's wobbling like crazy. Do I have a flat? Uh, oh, and we need to stop the vehicle. Let's check that. Uh, I haven't run into any new tires. Uh, that might be a bit of an issue. Um, hold on. Uh, the, well, the tire's not in bad shape. I wonder why it's wobbling like that. Yeah, you would think that maybe the tire would be damaged. That is, uh, it's not a thing. Also, look at that beautiful, beautiful sunset back there. It looks good. All right, we got a good looking stop up here to the left side. Let's go ahead and pull over. It's one of the motels. There's a bridge. We're almost to the end of this first little biome section. Uh, so this might be a good place to call it a night. Uh, let's go ahead and park our vehicle over here. Hoping we're going to find a lot of loot in this one. Uh, these are normally good stops, so let's go ahead and turn this off here. All right, let's exit. Come on. What are we going to find? I don't think you could find engines in the wild. I don't think it's a thing. I don't even know if you could find another vehicle. Like, I was thinking that was going to be a thing for sure. Uh, maybe it will be in the future, or maybe we just haven't gotten far enough in the game to find new vehicles. Okay, look at this. We got an off-road tire. Oh, man, this thing's destroyed. It's got a three of 100. Okay, that is a, of no use to us. Also, a flashlight would be nice. Like, I feel like that's a must when you're out here in the... Uh, the apocalypse. Not gonna lie, this has not been a great stop so far. We'll go ahead and drink the water here. Not a lot of stuff to sell. I mean, you could go sell like water and, and things like that, but that's just no fun. Oh, here we go. We got another battery. Okay. Uh, we can sell that bad boy off. Let's go and put that in the back. I think you can repair those. So I'm assuming if you repair something, you get more money for it. Uh, yep, it is getting really dark out here. Kind of creepy. It's fine. We're just gonna go sleep inside. Uh, I can't grab anything else from the trash, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, let's head inside and go to sleep real quick. Okay, we are all rested up. I'm not really sure if time actually... Does it actually pass while we're sleeping? Uh, where's the moon? I think the moon's behind the clouds there. By the way, the skybox is really nice in this game. Oh, uh, maybe it has. It does seem a little brighter. All right, load that up. Uh, ready to get back on the road here. Have a good bit of supplies. Wait, why is this not... Oh, because I wasn't grabbing it in the right spot. Uh, crank that up there. All right. Uh, let's keep going. We're almost at the end of this little section here. Uh, I'll be curious if we run into any other uh, stops coming up. Okay, coming up to a uh, another gas station here. We're at the end. Uh, you can see the mountains. Uh, we have not come across a vendor yet. Uh, so I haven't had anybody to sell my stuff to. But uh, this is a good stop. Teddy bear? Oh, not teddy bear. Uh, dog. No, there's no dogs in here. All right, so the loot is somewhat randomly generated because I was running into dogs... Like, constantly. and Oh, dude. Did I miss these last time? Oh, this is so good. Okay, so these are really good pickups. But, wait, why can I not pick these up? Oh, maybe my uh, inventory's full. Hold on. Just throw that back there. Uh, I guess we're going to drink a soda. We can eat that can that way. So, yeah, we want to grab these. These are worth it. Uh, you could sell these off 100 bucks a pop. Uh, now that we have more storage, these are, uh, these are great to have back here. All right, so grab those. Um, no dog. A little disappointed by not finding a, a hood ornament. Uh, or actually, I think it was a dashboard ornament. The hood ornament is obviously the bear. You can't sell the bear, but you can sell the dog for like 150 bucks. It's kind of weird. Okay, top this bad boy off there. There we go. And we are ready to move. All right, let's get into the next, uh, little section here and see what we run into. Hopefully a merchant really soon like to offload some of his stuff. We got a lot of grinding to do to get anywhere as close to having uh, the 6K that we need. I guess we could, in theory, sell the vehicle's parts. So, like, the engine and stuff. Uh, so, say we're fairly close. We could probably sell off uh, the parts that we don't need in order to obtain uh, the fast engine. You know, at one point, I was complaining that the stops were way too close to each other. And now it seems like in this new section, it's been a good while since I've seen a stop. Um, so, yeah, it, it really does seem like it's completely at random. So I wonder, is there, like, different stop styles that we haven't seen? Maybe different buildings? Uh, I really kind of want to go off the... Oh! Uh, left side. Looks like we have a merch now. I was kind of looking over to the right to see if there's anything down in that uh, little canyon area. All right, so we're going to have somebody to sell to. Um, I don't think I could, like, pass the time, can I? Also, we have 20 liters out of 50. Uh, this thing's pretty full. I don't know how fast this one burns compared to the others, but yes! Uh, look at that. We got somebody to sell our goods to. 
Why, hello, merchant. Should I just drive straight into the store? Uh, you don't have much light in here, do you? I'm just going to drive in, uh, if you don't mind. And we're just going to sell stuff like right here. All right, turn that off there. So he doesn't sell engines here. That is not a thing. So we're going to have to uh, go restart again in order to get the engine. Unless there is a random person that sells out here. Also, they got a tiki figurine. I haven't seen one of those out in the wild yet. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to sell off all the books to you. Hello, 100 bucks there. Uh, let's go ahead and sell these. See how much money we're going to end up with. I think we're going to probably cross close to a thousand by the time I get rid of all the stuff I want to get rid of. Okay, two there. All right, so we're at 1,200. Uh, I think I'm going to keep pretty much everything else. Go ahead and drink a little water here. Will he take the empty container? Does he like those? Three bucks. Heck, it's something. You know, we could upgrade this with off-road tires. Like, I feel like we're on the cusp of having those. Uh, should we put those on real quick? And then, of course, I want to do the engine upgrade. I'm not close to doing that. I guess we might as well take advantage of his shop while we're in here. Let's go ahead and turn off those lights. Oh, I didn't realize he reacted to light. What the? Well, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a nifty basic feature. Uh, all right. Oh, the sun's coming up anyways. Uh, so what we're going to do, let's take off our road tires. Can you take these? Oh, yeah. He'll be able to buy these too. So let's take off all of these and we're going to buy ourselves some nice off-roaders. Okay, you can have this. Also, I want to swap rims out. I need one of these, so I'm going to take this rim here. Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and drop that here, and you can take my old rim uh, as soon as we get it off here. All right, here, you can take that. Uh, I know it's not as fancy of a rim, but I don't really care. It's just I want the off-road tires, so we're going to buy these. Let's slap these bad boys on. This thing's going to look amazing. All right, one more tire. The sun's coming up here. I'm going to grab... Uh, actually, I don't even... Well, let's go ahead and take an energy drink. Let's go ahead and drink this. We're going to throw the can in his face. There you go. All right, let's get back on the road. We got our big, beefy set of off-road tires. Uh, so that's the thing. So now we need to save up for the engine, even though I don't know how long the tires are going to last. I'm hoping they last a good while here. That looks cool, though. Very, very nice. Man, that's a view and a half. It's a little blinding, but hey... It's a nice, uh, fresh new day, and hopefully we'll find some uh, new stops, which we already have a stop up here. Uh, oh, it's just a house, isn't it? I think we've seen one of these. Uh, okay, maybe we'll find something good in here. So, where do you think the residents are in this house? Um, I'm assuming dead. Okay, what you got in here? Oh, they got a lot of loot on the, uh, as far as the food. All right. You can't take the TV, by the way. I tried taking one of those. I, I think I remember this stop now. Uh, got almost a full water container. You guys carry any car parts? Like, I'm not convinced that you can't find, like, an engine and stuff like that out in the wild. Like, I feel like that would be a thing in this game. Okay, we're just taking everything. Was that a plate? Oh, a pate. Or pate? What is pate? Is that... <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious. Somebody can answer that down in the comment section. Uh, I'm not sure if ever... I mean, I think I've heard of it, but I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's something I would eat. All right, close the tailgate. There's no people are gonna get angry about that. All right, let's keep going. So look over there on the left side. Man, you know, we gotta drive off the beaten path here. I feel like we got the off-road to- Oh my goodness, we're flying! Okay, <gasps> whew, that could have been really bad. I don't know what happens if you flip over in the game. Um, maybe that's why we're not supposed to go off-roading. By the way, there is a stop down there. Uh, is there anything actually up here? My wheel is really wobbling now. That right front looks like it's gonna fall off. Is there another part? No, it's empty. It's like really empty. Is there at least loot out here? Uh, I wish there was more of an emphasis of going off-roading in this game. Uh, I hope maybe if we get some new updates that that becomes a thing. Uh, I guess I feel like it's a little bit of wasted potential, the off-road stuff. Um, also that tire, it's just bugging me now. Uh, oh, well, that probably didn't help it either. Okay. Well, at least these off-road tires seem to be pretty suited uh, for the jumps, but I don't know about what's wrong with my suspension there. Okay, looking for good stuff. Oh, we got another ornament. I can't do anything with this. For some reason, the guy doesn't want to take these. I mean, we can just throw it in the back. Can I throw it on the back? No? All right, well, you're just going with us. I got plenty of trunk space. We're going to take what we can here. Ooh, energy drink. You know, we're finding so much fuel here. Like, I feel like we need to be selling some of this off. Like, you try to make as much money as possible here because the game just gives you abundance of resources, which is really, I do find kind of weird uh, considering that you're in the apocalyptic wasteland. Uh, resources should be a little harder to come by. I wonder if maybe there's like a, or there will be like a difficulty adjustment in the future 
I feel like you should be able to make it a little bit more of a difficult survival game. Okay, we're nearing the end of the biome here. Uh, my check engine light has come on. I'm assuming our off-roading trip was not a good idea. Uh, let's check it. What do we got here? Oh my goodness, the engine's almost dead. Um, that's not good. How much do I have on the repair tools here? Oh, I'm empty. Um, yeah, that could be a thing. All right, it needs engine oil too. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to fix this. I mean, it's full of oil. Uh, can we put energy drink in there? Hold on, let's go down here. Is there a chance that we'll, there is a repair, like, station or tool in here? Uh, I need to find, uh, oh. Huh. You find the cassettes out in the wild? Okay, bad news. We did not find anything to repair this with. So I need to find a merchant ASAP. Let's just throw all the loot in there. Uh, we'll have enough money to buy uh, one of the toolkits, but man, we should have packed some more. Um, I don't know what happens if your car breaks down. You could tall, uh, you can call a tow truck, but it is two hundred dollars. We have ninety right now. I'm starting to debate whether or not those uh, off-roading tires were worth it. Folks, we have been saved. The next stop was <laughs> a merchant. <laughs> Oh, I thought, our, uh, I thought our journey was going to end here. Oh, okay. Well, might as well just finish it off. Why don't we? All right. Let's go buy a repair kit. Um, I need to sell off some stuff here. But yeah, I'm actually rather enjoying the uh, the truck. Uh, I think it's uh, very fun to use. Also, you can't get wrong with the uh, the whole fact that we got uh, a lot. Actually, do I have enough stuff to sell here? Uh-oh. You think they'll take the mixtape here? I don't want this. Will you take... Oh, you won't... Oh. Of course he won't take that. All right, we better throw it in the vehicle. Um, you won't take my bear. This might be an issue. I might not have enough here. Do you imagine our journey ending here? Uh, that might be a thing. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, you can take my water containers here. Boom, boom. All right, we have 200. I think it's 200 for the repair. Wait, do you not? Oh, it's only 50? Oh, whew. Okay, that's good. He only has one, uh, so we can repair the vehicle now. Uh, yep. This is the last time I go off-roading like that. Uh, wait, will you take this back? I know it's uh has no use. No, it doesn't have use anymore. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we've actually, uh, we've done quite a bit here today. Got the truck running. Uh, didn't see any new stops. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to cut out a lot of the footage that I have. There's just a lot of just dead time. Um, a lot of stops that we've already come up to. Also, I didn't close the uh, tailgate again. It's fine. Uh, and here we go through the tunnel. We're gonna take a peek on the other side before I wrap this up uh, I'm kind of curious. Maybe it'll be something completely different. I'm kind of doubting it, but uh, We'll see. All right, and here we go. <laughs> Guess what folks? It's uh, once again the barren wasteland here but Yeah, if you guys want to see me upgrade uh, the engine Let me know down in the comment section below and you know what we will uh, see you guys uh, next time in under the sand